doing a good job, baby. What is up, besties? Welcome back to another vlog on my channel. I'm Kendall B. If you're new here, if you are not, sis, go ahead and subscribe. We are back with another vlog. Um, I have not been vlogging for the past couple of days because I've kind of been in like some little like stay at home mom feels kind of just feeling like I don't know my days were being repeated I don't think it was that I just really didn't have nothing to do and I was just cuddling with my baby taking in all these moments the God's honest truth was I was a little sad the past couple of days because I'm getting closer and closer to going back to work and granted I still have about two and a half almost three months I love this baby so much and that's just what the heck my baby is growing so much. Y'all see she's moving her head around. She has just about most of the control of her head and her neck. She's talking a lot. She's able to scream at mommy and tell me when she's ready to go home, when she's ready to stop getting changed. So that's what the past couple of days have been, just me getting a little sad and missing my baby and she's not even gone. She's still with me and I'm just missing her before I even go back to work. So. I've just been soaking in these past couple of days, just chilling with her, cuddling her, just being home with her, all of that. So we just got home from, where do we go? We went to her dad's job. We had to run, we had to run some errands. So Miss Girl had a, it starts with B, ends with out. She had a blowout, okay, in her car seat. And she has the Duna car seat. And if you know, it usually comes with a newborn insert, like right there. But we had to take that out because, honey, it got dirty. I forgot to take it out the car. I got to wash it. But she's not a newborn anymore, and she definitely is not 11 pounds anymore. So I need to wash it and just save it for our next newborn. Because Miss Mama's is not 11 pounds no more. <laughs> Last time we checked, she was 12 pounds, but I know she's... Look at my baby, y'all. I know she's more than that now. I swear. I thought I had dodged the missing hair coming out era. But I think hair has started coming out on the left side of my baby's head. I notice everything. So it's just a little bit. But I'm grateful that it is just a little bit. And we've been trying to keep her on her silk bonnet. Wherever we go, which is why it's in the living room, I take it in the bedroom, wherever her head lays, I've been putting her on her little bonnet because not on her head, but just laying her head on, on the silk. So, yeah. Um, last thing I probably saw was me redoing the balcony for her dad's birthday, and it definitely is a vibe out here. Let's go show them, Mama. It's definitely a vibe out here. I really am loving the little change that we did. I just, um, the one thing is, I don't know how to work a solar lantern. Like, if it's solar, that means it's getting charged by the sun. But how does it turn on? Oh, it has an off and on button. Mama, what are you doing? Yeah, so we'll see how that works out, but it definitely is really cute out here. My baby is trying to eat, if you can't see. And then there is that ass side over there. Let me go change this diaper because it smells like she got another special surprise for mommy. That my baby, baby, baby. That my mama, mama, mama. That my good girl, good girl, good girl. That my la, 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 la. My baby is jumping now. Strong mama. You're the strongest baby ever. Strongest baby ever. This is so fun. She's getting so much funner. Like, she's actually able to play now. She's jumping. She's talking. It's good. Let's take a thumbnail, Mama. This is pretty cute. I'll change this special surprise. Which is honestly good because yesterday I was looking for a BM. You know, as a mom, you would never think you'd be like, Where's my baby's poop? Where's the poop? I was looking for poop all day yesterday. Mm, today she got me good and that was her first day where I was looking for poop since she came home from the hospital I've never been like looking for her BMs they've been like very very there but um let's go change the diaper 
because soon it will be nap time. My mamas are still on her schedule. Oh, uh, we gotta wash those. Um, I guess I will. I'm gonna put you in the carrier after this, cause mommy gotta do some air. I gotta do a little cleaning. Oh, you wanna show them mommy's mommy's milk stained shirt? This is what I have on today. This is a little one piece bodysuit that I got from Amazon and it's easy to zip down and feed the baby but it's honestly not that easy to feed because it's so tight so you know we still make it do what it do with this but it's better than nothing so this is what I have on with some leggings and my mind just has on a black onesie that she had in her baby bag with some socks now we got to restock that baby bag what I have been she's looking at the light she's about to beat me up let me change this diaper what I've been notice is, noticing is that I gotta restock that baby bag every day we come home from going to work if I took something out. Clothes, diapers, restock them. Come on, baby. Kissing and hug the cutters. Hey, what do you like it now? Hey, I wanna show you up. I wanna show you up. Oh. We don't have any diaper. We don't have any wipes over here. Let's look at the wipes. We have no more wipes over there. Let's see how much more we have left in our baby shower and gender reveal stash. Oh my goodness. Ouch, like my mommy's hair, baby. Ouch. We don't have any more wipes. That was all the wipes that we were gifted. So now, And we have to exchange, we have a few, if you can see, we have a few lower boxes of diapers. But these are all size one and size two. And she's in size two right now. But I have some coterie diapers coming to try out. So we're probably going to be going exchanging all of these diapers for size three and size four next. So my baby is in size two right now. So my baby is growing so much. She just got out of size one like a few days ago. Let's go get some wipes, mama, because there's no wipes in here. Ow, what the, what the heck? Why, is, why are you doing this to your mom? Why are you doing this to your mom, baby? All right, so the brand that we use right now for our diapers is Honest. We really, really love Honest, and it's probably the best that we have used so far out of Huggies and out of Huggies and Honest. We definitely like Honest more, so just restocking. I'm about to change it, baby. I got to restock this so we're not slipping. And it's like, what do you do with the diapers that are already open that she doesn't fit anymore? Like, these look so small compared to the size two. She'll be three months in like two weeks. But what do you do with the diapers that are already like opened? I know you can return the ones that are in a box, but I guess somebody that has a baby. I don't know. I wouldn't want to use my diapers that are already opened and out the pack, to be honest. I'm coming, baby. Like, what do I do with these? I'm going to put them in this box. I think they should go to the trash. What do you think? What do I do? I'm going to just put them back in the box. And I'm going to ask somebody on Instagram if they have a baby that's in a size one diaper before I throw them out. Because Onyx is a, is a good brand. So I'm going to put these in the baby bag. It's nothing like being out and not having enough diapers. Mama is laying here looking at the ceiling fan. Babies have this like weird obsession with ceiling fans and I thought my baby was the only one until somebody posted on TikTok. Let's restock our Kara baby bag. Love this baby bag. This is the bag we use. I've showed y'all like a million times. But let's restock it. We got plenty of wipes in here, but we're gonna keep these just in case, just in case. We're gonna keep those in there. Oh we don't have any wipes so mommy gotta use these. Mommy's gonna use these. You might have to tell Daddy. Oh, I can go get some wipes when he gets home. 
Yeah. Mommy can get a break and you can stay with your daddy. Okay, mama. All of these size one diapers, we're gonna take these out. Okay. All the size one diapers. As you can see, the bag is super packed, but it literally has pockets for every single thing we need. Diapers. We got the Sally Baby Wrap. Earth Mama Diaper Balm. Like, it's so many different compartments. It didn't even is space back here where I put her extra clothes. So, I usually put the extra clothes in this bag, but she has used just about all the clean clothes in here. And mommy is going to switch them out to some more summer clothes because these sleepers, it's a little hot for them. But we're going to keep them in there. We're going to put some pants in there. Hi, mama. Tinka booty, tinka booty, chicka booty. And these are the poo, poo pants from today. The poo, poo pants, mama. First things first. I tell y'all this all the time. I'm going to spray them with this Mrs. Miss Messy Eaters Stain Treater does the job. All right. Let's put some clothes in here. I'm going to go with some bottoms. It's kind of hot for sweatpants. Put another onesie in here. Another onesie will work. Let's put some blue pants. We'll take those. And some socks. Let's take some socks. Okay. That's good enough. For nap time and eats. Let mommy get your sleeping bag. My baby is in her sleeping sleep sack area. And this is literally the only sleep sack that I have for her. And I honestly need to order more. It's from Amazon. All right, mama. Let's go put in the washer and then we can eat and go to sleep. Mommy also ordered some more. We ordered some more laundry detergent. Sorry, I'm holding you guys, the baby, and the laundry detergent. It's kind of heavy. So we're going to throw this in the washing machine because it is a little dirty. You excited? You got more laundry detergent, mamas? these diapers. We're going to ask. We're going to ask about who needs size one diapers because we don't need them anymore. I'm wearing these Glamnetic press-on nails. They literally are so cute. And they literally stayed on a whole week or week and a half. This is the laundry detergent that I love to use. I use it for my clothes and her dad's clothes and the baby's clothes. We just all use the same laundry detergent. To make it easier. Baby in it. So we just got done nursing. I'm about to pour the rest of this milk that I collected in a... I only got an ounce because she was only eating for four minutes. So if she would have ate a full time, I probably would have had possibly almost three ounces. But I think I'm going to try and give her a bottle right now. Not give her a bottle, but just like practice having the bottle in her mouth. Practice getting milk out. I do plan on leaving when her dad gets here. Let me turn on the light. Uh, we don't really need the light. I do plan on leaving when her dad gets here. I don't know to where. Like, I'm trying to spend a little time away when it's time for feeding so that she can get used to the bottle before I go back to work, which is 100% not easy for me because I hate being away from her. And, I mean, I do like my alone time, so I do like the time where I get away from her. But, um... I don't know, just knowing that she is wanting to 
nurse and I have the I have what she needs like I have the milk I have the nursing and that's what she's wanting I can't take care of her cry so I'm letting her dad do that when it comes to standing firm and telling her that she's going to be getting a bottle I just can't do it so I'm gonna let her dad do that today so I'm gonna try and introduce the bottle I did it yesterday she does take the bottle when I'm not there so this is not her first time having a bottle she's had a bottle multiple times when I went out but I'm saying from me she does not take a bottle um, and as in the last two weeks she has not been taking a bottle because I haven't really left her with my mom I haven't really left her with her dad really within the past two weeks so she's really been just nursing exclusively for the past two weeks so she's kind of been refusing the bottle so not refusing but just not taking it now if she's super hungry she will take it I want her to take it even when she's not ridiculously hungry and super duper mad by that point I want her to be happy to take it so like I said I'm gonna pour this into a bottle I hope that wasn't too much I hope that wasn't too much said but since I've been thinking about this so much, like it's also been on my mind a lot, which is kind of why I haven't been filming. It's been a mix of thinking about going back to work, wishing my ba my baby would be happy to take the bottle, but also not regretting exclusively breastfeeding because this is the best decision out to exclusively nurse. But it's just, I want her to be prepared for when I go back to work. And I have a lot of time. I'm just kind of uh, over prepared and I want her to be ready now, but I have to wait till she's ready. Um, I bought these little bear straw cups. These are squeeze bottles. And basically, you can squeeze the milk into the baby's mouth if they're refusing the bottle. And they can still get their feeding um, and not just be hungry because they're refusing the bottle. So I got three of these off of Amazon for like $12 or so. I'll leave it linked right here. But these are great. So this also gives me a little peace of mind when I leave her with people now i left her with my mom with these cups and she literally slept the entire night if y'all saw that vlog where we went out for our date night for her dad's birthday she slept the entire three hours we were gone so my mom didn't even get a chance to use these so i have them just in case so i'll put these back we're gonna grab a bottle mama i'll grab this one let's see if she takes it this is only, this is just about an ounce. Um, she's been doing really good on her schedule. Like really good. And I hope I don't talk about my baby too much or talk about momhood too much. This is just really 100% my life right now. And if there are other moms that are about to become a mom or new moms, I was looking for videos where moms were talking about their new life and how it goes and how it works. So. I know for some people this is helpful and some people may be thinking like I'm tired of hearing about this but just let me know in the comments how y'all feel regardless I'm still going to talk about my baby and I will you know I talk about me too and my life and my job but I'm about to get back into teaching so y'all will see more of that very soon I'm just on maternity leave so this is my life right now they do it on the side because this is how she eats when she's nursing they eat on their side. Babies don't eat like facing the ceiling when they're nursing. So it's kind of to trick them. And I'm using the Lancino, Lancino bottle because it kind of mimics the nipple of a actual breast. Come on, mama, you can do it, baby. Okay, so that was definitely progress. I just put her down for her first nap of the night. After this nap is definitely her like bedtime, bedtime. So she's been on schedule today. This was almost an ounce. So she drank, she almost drank it all. She drank half of this, so half of an ounce she drank. Um, that was definitely progress. She definitely was taking some of the milk now, so I am proud about that. I'm going to just keep doing it every single day, and I'm not. Yeah, we're not giving up, so I'm not going to pour this out just yet. I've been wasting so much milk lately with taking bottles, and she's not taking them, and I just pour the milk out. Um, This was what I got from this session, which is just, just about three ounces. I'm going to... 
should I bag it? I think I'm gonna bag it instead of bottle. Since her dad's gonna be with her, I think I should bottle it up. But yeah, y'all, how's everything been with? How's everything been with y'all? I. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is just my life now. It happened to me earlier actually and I just had to deal with it. Like I get milk stains without even noticing it, but if you know, you know. If you're a breastfeeding mom, you know how that goes, but I'm not about to go change my shirt right now. up from her nap we've changed we are officially out of wipes don't mind my couch this is a at home mom couch um we are officially out of wipes so we need to run to target dada is home so that's perfect we're gonna run to target and hopefully exchange all these size one and size two diapers because we do not need size one anymore and we have a big box of size two coming um so I'm thinking we're gonna exchange some of those and get the wipes and just have a little late night target run. My mom's gonna with her target, of course. She's acting like she wants to eat, so I'll probably feed her before we get in the car. But what else do I need to do, Mama? I didn't not fit, I did not get to finish my editing, but it's okay. Gonna put her to sleep. No, how you gonna say you're gonna go against the schedule? No, you gotta stick to the schedule because she's gonna be fussing for sure. You want her fussing? No, you don't want her off this she... every time she wake up crying. She's gonna so get better at it. So I'm not gonna put her to sleep before I leave then. She's gonna be up. No, it's okay. Yeah, I'll be good. No, she gotta adjust to not having milk when she first wake up. Alright, get the car seat. Y'all, I'm trying to fit the ID pop on. Got. Got to be more careful. Get the cam get that camera please. Get her out the way because she got to put her baby in. Say, don't be looking at my mama crazy. She, you know, she's trying to get her already pop on and shoot. I'm trying to let you get your baby in the car. I'm trying to get my baby out the car. Dada, why are you holding the camera sideways? Uh, 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 no, straight. Like, this ain't no real. Oh. Dada, this, ain't no, this ain't no Instagram story. It's YouTube. Like that. Come here, babies. This person trying to get in this thing. I'm trying to get my baby out. Y'all don't have to wait. Nah. My baby come 
first. Right no, there's now, too man. much going on. I can't. 